welcome and or welcome back to journey to peace with me this is my stuff in my wallet video so in this video i'm just going to explain how i stuff my wallet what i do and you'll see um, from there i think i'm going to start to switch up um, how i do this because i am getting back gazelle intense i've slacked off since getting into this house um, and now it's time to get back on to pay off my car and my student loan and the goal is to do that um, this year i'm putting that out there i'm manifesting that for 2020 i'm paying off my car and my student loan in 2020. all right so if you want to see how i stuff my wallet stick around Okay, so here's my wallet. I've taken out my categories and now I need to get my cheat sheet. Um, let me put my categories here. My cheat sheet here. Let's get the money together. Okay, so my money is all together. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with stuffing my wallet. So as you all know, in the last couple videos, I've talked about our challenge for the month is hashtag Feed Yourself February. So even though I'm budgeting for it, the goal is to not use it. And so um, you'll see in a couple days how we did the first pay period of February on Feed Yourself February. But we'll go ahead and stuff this part anyway. There are five of us. If you're new here to this channel, there are five people in my family, two adults, a 13-year-old, almost 14-year-old, um, and then a seven and a five-year-old. And I put in uh, $100 for the family to eat, and then I put in an extra $50 for me to eat at work. So that means that the restaurant budget is going to get $150. It's going to get 520s. It's going to get three tens. Three fives. And then five ones. All right, so let's make sure that's right. So it's 150, so it's gonna sit. That's gonna be the first thing in my wallet. So it'll sit right here. And so how our system is, when it's done, it's done. All right, so the next category up is our date night. Date night is going to get um, 
It's gonna get 150, 120, and 05. We do not always go on a date night because Valentine's Day is coming up. We do have a group date um, for the month of February. That group date is going to cost us $20, so I know I'm gonna end up spending that. But for Valentine's Day, because it is Feed Yourself February, we are going to do something at home um, where we are not going out to a restaurant. I think I'll surprise the hubby um, by making him a dinner. Um, I think I might do lobster and something. So that's going to come out of our grocery budget. So it's going to sit here inside of the wallet. Next up is going to be gas. And gas, um, for me, I budget $50 a fill up. It's not that anymore because I switched from premium to regular gas. My car said uh, premium recommended. And so when I did some research, it said that I could switch. I haven't had an issue and I've switched to premium um, to regular from premium. It's been about six months. I haven't had any issues. Um, but nevertheless, I still budget for $50 a fill up for three and a half fill ups. And that's going to be $175. So that means that I'm going to do 350s, 120, and 15. And this is going to go into the debit account or the checking account. And I use my debit card because I'm doing the Get Upside app. It gives you cash back certain amounts at certain times, whatever the app says for purchasing gas at particular gas stations. So groceries is going to get $250. $250, that is $125 per week, $100 per person for the month, and it comes out to $25 per person for the week. And we make it work. That um, accounts for stuff for school, lunches, that accounts for things that we need to make dinner. From there, we can go ahead and pack our lunch. All right, so this is gonna sit right here in the wallet. Next up is miscellaneous, and miscellaneous is going to get $100. And this is for me to spend on me however I want. I typically spend it on getting my nails done. In the last pay period, I did my own nails. They're not the best, but they work, and I'll redo them um, this pay period as well. So that is going to get 320s. Two tens, three fives, and five ones. And so now what will happen, because I'm getting gazelle intense, what is going to happen? I, I like to do a realistic budget. What is going to happen is at the end of this, instead of saving it, I'm going to put it toward my student loan or whichever debt is smallest. Right now it's my student loan. Next up is allowance, and this is allowance for my children. The oldest, she gets $20 for the pay period. The littles, they get $10 each, which is one five and five one. So the girls sit in front, my son sits in back of this card, and it'll sit here like this. And then what else is in my wallet is $200 for Tide. $150 goes to my mother for watching my children after school. She does not charge us. We just give her that as a love offering. And then $80 for my phone bill. So it's $150, $120, and a $10. The phone bill is actually only $100 for the month. I budgeted 80 and then this um, 30 is just miscellaneous in case I need it for something. Uh, I'm trying not to spend it. And we'll sit that right there. So that's it for inside of my wallet. Now it's time to stuff my sinking funds. The first sinking fund, which I'm not going to change even though we're getting gazelle intense, 
is vacation. I still think that it's very important to take our children on a vacation at least once a year, and so long as we can cash roll it. The next up is $100 into my savings. And as you'll see, or, or as you can see in previous videos, I'm having to rebuild this because we wiped out the account to pay that um, that tax bill. So I'm having to rebuild um, some things. All right. And so from here, we're going to put $50 into Big Girls Aftercare. So we just paid that bill at the first of the month, and this is going to sit there for uh, for going into March. All right, and so next up is Baby Girls Gymnastics. Gymnastics is gonna get $65. We cut her down, um, and so you'll see in a little bit what we're able to do with the balance because this was getting 110 before, but we've cut it down. So she's gonna get 150, 110, and 15. And I'm gonna fold that, and that's gonna sit in the front of hers because her savings sits in the back. And then the other portion of her money is going to go to Big Girl's computer. And she's going to get $45. So she's going to get two 40s and one five. And that's going to sit here in the back. And so let's see. Total right now for her laptop, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. 135, 135 going toward her laptop. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna fund the rest of the sinking funds. It's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. And I had to wipe out all of the sinking funds except for Christmas. Um, and vacation in order to pay that tax bill. And the reason why I did not wipe out Christmas is because of that trip that we're trying to go on. And so it, even though it didn't have a whole lot in there and we could have started over, I didn't want to do that. So I am putting $21 into my personal. I'm putting $17 into every other category. So it's 17 into birthdays. Big girl's birthday is next month. Um, 17 is going into Christmas. 17 is going into car, which needs to get re, um, rebuilt as well. We're gonna skip vacation because we already put some money in there. We're gonna do 17 into school. 17 into home repair. and then 17 into doctor, which is helpful because baby girl has a dentist appointment coming up on Tuesday. And I already had to take some money out of the emergency fund for the first part of her dental visit, which was $230. Um, and then her next appointment, which is on Tuesday, is gonna be $140. So we have spent a total of, or will have spent a total of $370. For her teeth so the sinking funds help of course and i know a lot of people who are on baby step two don't do the sinking funds but i think this is a reason um or an example of why it's imperative to have it because i didn't want to go into the emergency fund to pay for it but for the tax bill we would not have had to but because i had to wipe out all of those accounts in order to pay that tax bill so that we can keep our mortgage at the same amount um, we're starting over. And so emergency fund got tapped. And so now we're having to put that money back eventually. Um, and so we'll get to that. So barring no other um, expenses that will come up, Lord knows we don't need any more. Um, we should be back on track and I'll put that money back into the emergency fund um, with the next pay period, next paycheck. All right, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions, concerns, 
Um, or if you just want to comment on anything that I said in the video, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section down below. And if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. Go ahead and join this family. Take a journey with us. And until next time, journey on.